At this gathering of astronomy fans in Northern California, everyone is talking about their plans for heading north to the state of Oregon. So right now we're at about 150 to 160 people all traveling up to Mitchell, Oregon. The solar eclipse on August 21st is the first of its kind in the United States in nearly a century, and it has millions of people packing their bags and reserving their spots for the best view. The eclipse will begin out there in the Pacific Ocean before touching North America for the very first time here in Lincoln City, Oregon. It'll land at about 10, 16 a.m., and suddenly the day will become this otherworldly night. The stars will come out. You'll be able to see Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and where the sun should be will just be a black disk surrounded by fire. And yet the whole life-changing event will last only two minutes. The eclipse will move across the country at 2,735 kilometers an hour, easily outpacing the two NASA aircraft sent to chase and film it. It's the first time since 1918 that there has been a solar eclipse that has traversed the entire North American continent. That's why schools like Oregon State University are cooperating in a long line across the country, preparing to send up high altitude camera balloons. Okay, you can look at this one too. And record the event from the ground to assemble the largest ever repository of eclipse images for study. And the result of that is going to be this massive flux of photographic and video imaging that's going to go online. As a result of that, people are going to have a completely new experience of what an eclipse is. But the fun is being there. The 12 million Americans who live in the path are getting ready for an influx of perhaps a million people per state. Trish Hansen bought her farm in Madras, Oregon, five years ago with no idea the eclipse was coming. There's 56 tent sites along that row of hay bales. Now she's renamed the location Camp Totality and has more than 250 campsites reserved. What do you think you'll clear in the end? Probably $100,000. Wow. Worth. That's amazing. We feel very fortunate. This That's, really, right. That's right. It really helped us out a lot. The universe came together for mm -hmm. you. Now it's down to earthly logistics, packing, driving, finding a spot. We don't know what the gas situation is going to be like. We don't know what the cell tower situation is going to be like. There's a lot of talk that even the credit card networks are not going to be able to satisfy the demand. So we're telling everybody to bring plenty of cash. It's like an evacuation in reverse. Extraordinary preparations for an extraordinary solar spectacle. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, Madras, Oregon.